Hi, it's Jamie with Fayette County Extension, and today we're out in the garden talking about hellebores. I'm so happy today to finally have some blooming perennials to talk about. And if you don't grow hellebores, you should be aware of the hellebores and what they can do for a garden. The most unique thing is the bloom time. These are gonna start blooming generally late February into March and sometimes carry on into April. So they have a long bloom period. They also are not the most common perennial, so they can be a little hard to find. Fortunately, in recent years, they're getting better and better and more available. So here we have some double flowering hellebores, and a lot of the breeding in recent years has focused on these double flowers and flowers that face a little more upright or out to the side, so there's a little more color that's visible. Hellebores, once established, border on indestructible plants. They're tough as nails. So once you get these going, you can have them for decades, and they really don't like to be divided or moved. They resent that, so the best thing is to get them in place and leave them there. They are happiest in a high organic matter, rich woodland soil. Having said that, if you can coddle them a year or two, they are capable of withstanding drought and drier shade, but only after you get them well on their way. The other interesting thing about hellebores is oftentimes in the garden they will seed. They produce copious amounts of tiny seeds. The seeds are attractive to ants and the ants scatter them around. So don't be surprised if you don't see some little baby seedlings popping up and those do move fairly well. Now there's no guess as to what colors you will get or most of these are predominantly, particularly seedlings, are shades of pink and they are likely to be single flowers. These double things are newer. But we've improved the vigor, Breeders have made them far more attractive, and they're just a better plant for your garden. So if you've got a difficult spot in the shade you'd like to add some color to, these would look great with hostas and ferns. They're just a really, really durable plant. They can take some sun as long as they're not terribly, terribly dry sun and drought conditions, not good for a long period of time. But they have almost no insect or pest problems. They're wonderful plants, and I think if anything, the biggest problem is the obscurity. Most gardeners don't know these are an option, and I've had some emails this week. People are starting to notice them out in public gardens, and they're becoming better all the time. So think about hellebars for your garden.